Michael was different than any other hurricane. I mean, it's only the, what, the third Category 5 to hit land in the United States, so nobody was expecting it to be as bad as it was. I was always into sports, but I was never really the biggest, best athlete, so this was a reason for me to stay involved in sports and still uh, be a part of everything. And I had an athletic trainer in high school that got me started helping out with him. He got me involved and I found the interest and I just never turned back. High school sports are huge. They're just as big as college or pro sports here. We don't have any local college or pro teams. Athletics is one of the things that keeps some of the kids coming to school. and. Athletics is the way that some of these kids might be able to go to the next level of education. They all want to be on the field at all times. Sometimes you need to protect them from themselves. The parents want them back out there. The coaches want them back out there. So you have to be kind of the referee sometimes and tell them what's the best course of action for them. Well, this hurricane was pretty much came out of nowhere. I mean, it went from a category one to a category three in like, I think it was 48 hours. Uh, category three, that would have been Katrina. You know, in New Orleans, in Mississippi Gulf Coast. Category five, Hurricane Michael, the eye of the storm. You're looking at 160 mile an hour sustained winds, 220 mile an hour gusts. It's like a 20 mile wide tornado coming through that never lifts up. I always said that if it got to category three or bigger, I, was, I would leave and decided to come back about four days after the storm. As we got closer and closer, all of a sudden you start seeing more and more devastation. The winds took out power poles, roofs, buildings. The rows and rows of pine trees looked like somebody hit them with a 20 foot tall lawnmower. Nothing looked the same, it looked like a bomb went off. School building itself structurally was sound. The gym was destroyed, the backstops, the dugouts for baseball and softball, the tennis courts, everything was just destroyed. The training room that we had was a portable building out in the middle of all of the sport fields and it was unrecognizable outside. I'd been here for 15 years and that was 15 years of acquiring equipment and building up a nice facility that was pretty much knocked down in 15 minutes. My athletic training room basically became the back of my vehicle. I used the same concept as the coaches. I started reaching out to colleagues, friends. Henry Schein was one of the first emails I sent, you know, trying to figure out what kind of course of action I needed to take to rebuild. I felt the urgency. I mean, they made it feel like they were here and knew exactly what was going on, even though they hadn't seen any of it. We came up with a plan. They told me to try to find a place that we could set up. We needed treatment tables, taping tables, rehab equipment, modalities, supplies, braces, a little bit of everything. Some of the equipment that they got sent in and donated, most high schools don't have. The quality of the tables and stuff that came in and the amount of supplies that they got down here just well above and beyond. They've always worked well with me. They've always taken care of us. They've always been there when we needed. I rely on Henry Shine because we've built a great working relationship and when I needed them the most, they were there for me. 